farmer friend, singer songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack of all trades Chris Horn. And we're those taste bud guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us one more time. Is my mic on? My mic's on. Your mic on? It's on. I'm Chris. That's Lyle. We're those taste bud guys. Hey, uh, you know, we're going to do some stuff today, uh, uh, but we're not going to do everything as you're looking at right now. We're going to talk really quickly about them. Then we're going to do one of them. Then we're going to do another episode for next week, and another episode for the week after that, and another episode for the week after that, and then one final episode where we compare all of them all together. I like how you, you'll be going. I feel like how that sounds. I know. I'm so <laughs> I'm awesome. so organized, and you're thinking, what are you comparing, guys? Well, right after you, some skibby. <laughs> See, I had that already. I like how it's prepared. I like it. I like it. We'll tell you. So, Lyle. Yes. What is it we're doing? Oh, we're doing gin. Uh, James gin, to be specific. James? What uh, James? What? J who's James? James May. Uh, I know him. I've from seen uh, him. Grand Tour and a ton of other things. Yeah? I don't know. How, how long have they been doing the gin? Do you know? So I only found out about it about, uh, oh my gosh, that smells delicious. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, know, but, okay. Oh, let's so, get the taste in. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll jump back in for a second. So I found out I was watching... I'm a fan of James May. I like James May and, and all his stuff. And I was watching one of his YouTube channels and he went over to Richard Hammond's house mm -hmm. and pulled us with his bottles and started talking. And he goes, yeah, I've got this new gin that I put out and I want you to try it. And I'm like, wait a minute, you got a gin? <laughs> and I'm like, I knew Clarkson did a beer and, and apparently he's making a gin now too. But anyways, I, I was just like, wait, I, I've never seen this before. So I looked around, I couldn't find any. It's hard to find them. I reached out to- or At least in our area. Not James, but their company, James Gin Company, and asked him, hey, is there any chance we can get any of this? And uh, yes, the short answer was yes. Here you are, here's our four can, bottles. Can I say that like, and, uh, my wife um, specifically bought tonic because she, um, she knew that a whole box of gin just showed up on her porch. <laughs> and I was like, I had to break her heart because she was like, she was like so pumped for it. I was like, yeah, it's, that's for the studio. Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Super Bowl. Anyways, um, so they were kind enough to send us. We had this, we've been sitting on it for, I don't know, two, two weeks, yeah. two weeks, something like that. And so we're getting on to getting them done. Um, we are going to start with their flagship gin. I'm going to read the thing that they sent with us. And this is called the Asian Parsnip. Pars I can't see it. Parsnip. Parsnip. This is a throwback to when we did that Cuddy Sark episode and kept saying Cuddy Shark the entire time. <laughs> I legit thought it said shark because I am too stupid to actually read the bottle. I, I was right there with you. Thank you for whoever did point that out to us, and you did it in such a nice way, and we really appreciate that. It, I like how a okay. lot of words have silent H's, and we just throw H's in randomly. Yeah. All right, Asian parsnip. Yeah. What is a parsnip? Uh, parsnip's kind of, it's in the carrot family. So, um, I hope this I don't kept, taste like carrots. I kept thinking it was akin to a turnip, but that's more cabbage related, apparently. Okay. So. Uh, Asian parsnip is our first award-winning aromatic gin. Man, is it ever aromatic. Uh, created using a unique blend of exotic Asian spices and British sweet parsnip, a humble vegetable valued by Romans and hated by school children. <laughs> that's what it says. Asian parsnip. Um, okay, well, so amazingly interesting. Man, the nose is just oh, it's so it's like walking into a, one of like an apothecary, and you get just all the different sn uh, smells or a tea shop or something and herbs. Uh, it's really fantastic there. There's I, I, I have high hopes for this. I get like little bits of um, uh, curry and. Uh, I'm trying to pin pinpoint exactly what it is, but it's like it's there's some umami type flavors in there. It's like sweet and spicy, but then that sort of um, it's got it. I guess as the parsnip comes through, that like vegetable-y uh, freshness. Well, I I get a little bit of a licorice note in there. Yeah, but I primarily get the juniper, um, the earthiness in there. It really has a there's garden. A a garden scent to it. Yeah. Well, and there's still like the salty, sweet, spicy note to me. And I don't mean the greens out of the garden. I mean like you get yeah. the vegetables out of the garden, you chop them a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit of a marketing way, you know, me when I'm starting to think of parsnips, I'm thinking of that garden. But but it's, but it holds. It's there. But I get those kind of Asian flavors in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. What did Khan do? It's hard because uh, where we're from, um, well, most of the Asian restaurants here just deep fry everything. There, <laughs> so, there's a, whoa, right? As I get ready to take this drink, I got one more hint of something that's like a, a dry, um, like mustard seed kind of dry, yeah. powdery note. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to go for. Um, I think that's kind of where I was going on the curry train. Oh, holy smoke. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that is all over the place. I don't know. I think I like it. It certainly got my attention. I gotta, I gotta go in for Yeah, you guess we gotta try this. Get it. <laughs> you gotta acclimate okay. a little bit for that. And now the nose is completely changed. Now it's got this like uh, lime rock, like limestone, mm -hmm. minerally quality as I go back to it. Uh, got a bit of an oiliness as well. It definitely kind of takes the um, uh, subtleness out of the nose once you have it. It's such a big, strong, bold flavor. Um, it really ratchets up. Yeah. So, but then I, I'm, I can't think of another gin that I've had that I can compare this to. This this really is its own thing. It finishes so nicely though. It's like clean and, and um, soft. All right. Let me throw the one thing out there that I didn't initially like. Uh huh. The licorice flavor that comes back through a little bit. That anise. Mm -hmm. uh, that it at the very first drink that was the first thing to touch my tongue. Now I'm not a big fan of that, so I thought I was like, uh oh. This might not be my favorite thing, but it's yeah. gone that fast. And then it goes into those nice mm -hmm. vegetable flavors that we've been so talking about. It's there. That Asian note, I think, really hits the spot. I think a lot of the sipping gins that we've had that are real heavy on that are like too heavy. Heavy and like cinnamon. Too heavy. Cardamom as well. And, and that's something I don't get enough. More this. Christmassy. This is like straight fresh. Uh, this this is like uh, more of a traditional London gin, mm -hmm. like you've had with every other London gin you've ever had, Hendrix and all the rest of them, ratcheted up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then like they've already put a little something in it when yeah. you drink. So you've, we've went that extra step with the martini and put the twist in it or put twist. the olive in yeah. it or put something in it. Let's give it a little something extra. Um, I'm not hating this. It's really, really interesting. Uh, I'm trying to think... I don't know. I, I tell you, I can't even say right now. I hate to. I hate to do this. I don't know that I can say if I like it or don't like it. But I can tell you one thing. I'm going to be talking about it for the next three damn days, which probably means I'm, I like it. <laughs> but it is so. Oh, that's what you'll ultimately come back but to. It's I guarantee. So you. bold that it's hard to wrap my mind around this being. There a, is it's, it's almost something that lingers at the end of it that I, I'm, I keep going back that I can't quite figure out. I can't quite go. I'm just about. What is that lot. flavor? <laughs> I'll put it that way. What is that flavor? Did they, they have any? There was more stuff on here. Uh, nope, that is a. That is for a drink. Gosh, man, this it's so big and bold on flavor. It almost tastes like a cocktail in a in a glass anyway. Oh, oh, hang on, botanicals. Hey, we've got information oh. back here. We should read the whole bottle. Um, parsnip. Shocking. Okay. <laughs> Ginger. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah, I don't know why I didn't come up with that one. That absolutely. Uh, what's a caraway seed? Uh, rye, basically. Rye, okay. I think I asked you that the other day. A kubeb pepper? You got me. C-U-B-E-B -E pepper? I like the word pepper, though. Uh, fenugreek? Fen fen fenugreek? I wonder if that's akin to fennel. Because that would be where you're... Like, Cardamom. Yeah. Yeah, well, see, I didn't case. Usually that one's one I'm, that comes out and I well, don't it's care. Not, it's not heavy hand. It's not at all. Yeah. It's not at all. Grains of Paradise. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what that is either. There's a lot of stuff I don't know what is this This is. What I don't see is yellow dye number 11 and <laughs> those I know what tastes like. God, I get um, it. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh, oh sorry I wasn't going to curse in this episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, edit that out loud. Right. Um, <laughs> licorice root. Yeah, we're not. We'll just apologize and move on. Uh, licorice root, sweet orange. That's a good one that I hadn't yeah. hadn't noticed. Juniper, angelica root. Don't know what that is. Oh, and coriander seed. So yeah, we said mustard seed. Okay. So um, I guess it's not the same thing. I guess it's a parsley seed, but uh, cilantro. Cilantro, dried cilantro. Isn't that a parsley? Thing? Um, no, no. Never mind. Um, Forget it. <laughs> I was wrong. I don't know what I'm tasting. I think here's where I think I land on this. Okay. I like it. 
I do too. <laughs> but it is so different from like a gin that you uh, just I, go pick out right. off the shelf. Right. That this is like a, it's like one of those pre-mixed cocktails in a glass, except that this one tastes friggin' delicious. Like if you drop just a, I think just a lemon twist in this would just make it everything it ever needs. Now, so they've say, got a recipe for it. Yeah. And what I do they say? think, I don't use close, they wouldn't lime. Uh, lime 50 mil Asian parsnip, 15 mil lime juice, 10 mil yuzu juice. I don't know what that is. 25 mil sugar syrup and one egg white. Shake all into a double strain, chill in a martini glass, garnish with Angostura, yeah. Yeah. bitter hearts. And I would enjoy, that's the important part. That sounds delicious, but I don't think it... I like you know, you don't even the third step on every drink is enjoy. Nice. You ain't got a choice, you have to like it. I am anxious to try the higher proof one. I, I suspect I this I'm going to like it better. I think I am too. I think the intensity of the alcohol ratchets up yeah. will... Also, but I, I think this is something you got to be in the mood to drink. I don't think this is going to uh, scratch an itch coming out of it and going, oh, I want my very traditional flavored yes. gin. This, this is, is a, unique. This, this is special. This is yeah. special. yeah, special is the right word. For sure. But good. This is a, this is what when you're going to crave it. Nothing else is going to scratch that itch. Yep. Agreed. Until next time. I, hang on. There wasn't enough to sip. I wanted to take another drink, mm -hmm. but it wasn't going to be enough. So I'll know the next one to pour a little more. All right. Mm. So now I've got enough for. Are you good? Toast. We should have moved them out of the way, by the way. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Whether it be the clothes you're wearing, <laughs> the food you're eating, people you're meeting, or the. You. Did you take my line? I did. Grab a buddy and try something new. Or just grab a line. I think I, think <laughs> I, I, think I took both of your lines. I can't believe I, I caught that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.